I was shooting too straight from a band for literally no reason. There's nothing wrong with me, Chi. What is wrong with me, Chi? Alright, cool to see is a scumbag. Like, there's no, no two ways about it. Like, the man is a scumbag. Hey man, call Shane. Hey man. So tired of these 30 IQ brain dead idiots who listen to people like Call of Shane. Around three weeks ago, I was able to speak directly to one of the cheat developers, who creates cheat software for Call of Duty. I had some questions, but one thing was clear from the start. I will be censoring everything, such as his name and the software. He also agreed, as he wasn't keen on being a target of a cease and desist by Ricochet, as he did not want to be in the public eye, and due to this I was able to get some answers. I think you will find this extremely informative, but also deeply concerning. The cheat developer, explained how he lives in a country, that has no extradition order with the US, and copyright infringement laws, regarding creating cheat software, are simply dismissed. If the tax is declared correctly, then nobody is going to cause him problems. This is my interview. I want to start with a simple and basic question. Is Ricochet real? Yes, 100%. Anyone who claims it's not is delusional. But like all cheats, it can be bypassed. People forget Call of Duty used to use Valve anti-cheat for nearly a decade. Bypassing anti-cheats is easy on the first release, staying undetected is when the real work starts. With that in mind, have you ever been detected? And if so, please explain roughly how you would avoid this happening again. So no, never been detected. My cheats don't even have a name, so this is my thinking. When you brand them, you're just asking for trouble and become a target for the game developers. So, how would someone buy your cheat software, if you don't have a name? Well, they wouldn't. Well, not directly. They need to be vouched by someone who I trust, and only then are they permitted to buy. The website offers a fake service, but the members area is the cheat support forum. But now I only sell DMA cheats, and I supply everything, the full package everything. That's actually pretty smart, and another level of staying off the radar. I remember covering an interview some time ago, when a game developer hired undercover agents to infiltrate cheat developers. How do you know you haven't been discovered? Well, I haven't been detected yet, so... Fair enough. Okay, let me ask you about the price. How much would a cheater pay for DMA cheats, from start to finish? For example, to start cheating and continue cheating indefinitely. My price is $2,000. For this you get everything, such as the, the DMA card, all the flashed firmware, and the overlay fuser. You'll also get three months worth of cheats then, it's $100 per month, and everything is custom made for each customer. So, so, so you can stay completely undetected by the anti-cheats. Don't you feel somewhat responsible for ruining online gaming? Such as people trying to build a gaming career, or just people that just really enjoy playing with their friends? Um, no, I only offer a service to make the game easier, so if people want to cheat, that's on them. Uh, a hammer is used to hit nails uh, into wood, right? But it can also be used for a deadly weapon. Would you blame the hammer manufacturer or the person? Are there any Warzone streamers that use your service? Uh, honestly? I wouldn't know. Uh, I don't collect any information from anyone. If you are asking me if they cheat, of course. Only a baboon would think differently, but everyone that buys from me is completely anonymous. But at some point you need to mail out the hardware. Wouldn't you theoretically know their location? No. Every order is placed through crypto, then you are directed to Amazon to make a small order for a storybook or flashlight, for example. Once you order that for, uh, say, $5, you would use an Amazon locker for collection. Of course, you won't be receiving a flashlight, but uh, the DMA hardware, and then the account is closed. That's an interesting delivery method. So, let's talk about cheats on console. This seems to be a big talking point within the community. Can you shed any light on this? Are there console cheats for Xbox and PlayStation? Of course. There are many different ways to cheat effectively on consoles, but uh, the demand is not high enough for me personally. You talk about cross-play off, this will limit the cheating, but that's all. The cheats for consoles have been around for years, so I really do not understand this idea when people claim, oh, I play on console, I do not cheat. 
The problem is there are so many closet cheaters in the COD games, but they are easy to spot. The people that use my cheats are competitive players. Look, nobody is going to spend thousands to cheat in casual games. These guys are CDL players or large streamers that can earn some money back. But like I said earlier, I don't care who they are or what they do as long as they pay me. What about the other cheat developers out there? Do you class them as competition? No, they do front end and most importantly, they enjoy the spotlight while I prefer the, the shadows sort of speaking. Look, uh, you need to understand they keep anti-cheats busy and when they are looking at them, they are not looking at me. They create cheats and make a living good for them. So have you always been a cheat developer? Hacking, yes, but not writing cheats. I used to hack PlayStation and steal accounts. So basically, if someone wanted a rare name, like, I don't know, Pokemon, I would hack the account change, all the info and re-verify it with Sony, then sell you the account, making it impossible for the other person to recover it. Uh, I also used to hack into email accounts for people and there wasn't an account I couldn't get into. But there are hackers now in my group that even scare me. Uh, I would rather have them as my friend than my enemy, let me tell you that. So, what do you think about the hacker hunting scene in general? I don't like the idea of uh, hacker hunters when they start meddling how cheats are made, what they do, and so on. So, so you sent me a copy of your Guardian anti-cheat to basically reverse and report back my findings. And uh, I could see it scanned each executable for known strings. What I liked about it was the decoy code, uh, although at the time it was a bit of a headache. I liked how it looked for multiple strings that had to be found within a certain order. I can't remember the exact methods now, but it was frustrating. But at the time, I remember thinking in order for this to, to, to work successfully is needed the latest loaders. It was an interesting idea, but if you used like an AI or something to probe sites to get loaders, it would be yeah, effective. But I no longer write public cheats. Not many know that COD used to use Valve anti-cheat before Ricochet, but sometimes larger game developers like to control their own, I guess. Activision are a very complicated company. Do you think Activision sell code to cheat developers? If you ask me, do I think there are moles within Activision, then the answer is yes. But if you're asking me if there are moles within the Ricochet anti-cheat, no. But they do operate undercover agents who are embedded in cheat forums, offering tiny snippets of Ricochet to gain trust to make detections. This is known among cheat developers, which is why I trust Noon. Is it possible for DMA cheats to ever be detected? Yes, of course. Anti-cheats are always developing new methods, but I'm always looking to constantly develop my cheat. It's really just a cat and mouse game, but the anti-cheats do not yet consider DMA a huge problem. It's the front-end cheats causing the social media complaints, and that suits me fine. Well, this concludes part one of this interview. I have been very vocal about who I hold accountable for the cheating problems in Call of Duty and it's not the cheat developers, although they share some responsibility, but not all. It's the people using the cheats, they are the problem, as there is no accountability. A popular cheat developer, have now developed something that is a game changer, and it will allow Warzone streamers to cheat, without injecting anything. Let me explain how it works. First, let me touch on how a cheater would cheat, using direct memory access. The cheater, simply runs the game on one PC while his second PC handles the cheat calculations, leveraging the information retrieved from the game's memory, through the DMA board. This is similar to having an advanced UAV, for the entire game. So, we can now see how a cheater avoids detection. But this is something Warzone streamers, have been doing for years. But, this is where things get interesting. The cheater, can now generate a unique link, which he can share with his teammates. This link will display a fully functioning radar hack through a web browser. They can customize this to work with their own POV. This means anyone can now cheat without installing anything. It just needs one person to start the process, and everyone on the team can cheat. Streamers will now be using this to its full potential, in all tournaments and competitive leagues. Even the CDL will be using it, as where there is money, there is cheating. But it gets worse. 
You can even use this on PS5 or Xbox, as you can simply use your mobile device, such as a smartphone or tablet. Anything to display a web browser, can access the DMA cheat radar. Gaming, as you know it, is over. So many players will soon be cheating, and it's impossible to trace them. Streamers looking off screen are now under the spotlight more than ever. They are no longer running walls, it's too risky. They are all running radar hacks, walls is so last year when it comes to cheating streamers. This cheat share method is a game changer, and I don't have an answer how to stop it. Let me know in the comments about your ideas. Meanwhile, the streamers and closet cheaters, will make a little tweet expressing why Ricochet sucks, at the same time, utilizing this screen share cheat. Trust no one, and question everything. All this, will be available to the public, for Call of Duty and Warzone within months. Cheaters can now cheat, on clean PCs without installing anything. Call of Shame, are proud to partner with Total Antivirus, bringing you the best in online security. Their award-winning antivirus, is trusted by millions all over the world. Their software benefits from not only regular virus updates, but you can also quarantine suspicious files, keeping you safe. You will never have to worry about adware, ransomware, scareware, trojans or malware again. The web shield will keep you safe while browsing online. Eliminate those irritating ads, pop-ups and notifications, that clog the screen on your favorite websites. Never lose a password again, with this handy security add-on. Store all your passwords securely in one place, and lock them safely up in your vault. Whether you have a laptop, desktop computer, smartphone or tablet, they have you covered. Through Call of Shame, you can get an incredible 80% discount today, by using the link on the screen. You can also scan the QR code, that's this right here. I personally use this software on my own PCs, it's not just a partnership, it's something I trust myself. Please check the video description for more information. Another popular cheat website, that is well known for software cheats, seems to be well ahead of other cheat providers when it comes to Call of Duty. Before I explain, let me quickly show you how DMA cheats are very different to software cheats. This is a small section from a video I did, explaining about direct memory access. The anti-cheat, monitors at the kernel level. Well, that's because we need to go deeper, way beyond the operating system, to a realm, where software is not required. We leave the anti-cheats behind, as we dive deeper, to a level even deeper than the negative ring layers, of the Intel architecture. So deep, that the anti-cheat, is simply off limits. To a level, that is the physical hardware. Nothing, can be detected here. And this, changes everything. For the first time, DMA cheats for Warzone are not only very real, but will soon be available to the public. Ricochet will never be able to detect these. The Warzone anti-cheat cannot even detect software cheats, let alone hardware cheats. Console cheats are here and are about to get even worse. Let me explain. Undetectable cheating on PlayStation, Xbox, or PC for your friends is simple. Use upcoming web browser radars. Share the unique link that your DMA cheat creates with your friends on your team. They will be able to view the radar and customize the configuration for their own personal radar, target themselves with the radar so that it's from their POV. They can toggle auto-rotate on or off, whatever they want, and with great smoothness and performance. It can be used from any device that can run a web browser, including computers, laptops, tablets, and even smartphones. The links are custom, and so are the tab names for security. Counter-Strike 2 is first, then Call of Duty, and then more. The DMA cheats will of course also offer ESP, Aimbot, Trigger, Flick, and more. So, expect to see high-profile streamers playing with random players in their squad, so the cheating streamers can share their cheats, without them installing anything. This is the end for Warzone. I'm sure the streamers will now try to convince you, that cheating is not as bad as it once was, because with Ot Warzone, their career is over. I have extensive knowledge how anti-cheats work, and L can assure you, this game is finished. Remember, as soon as Bungie kicked Activision out the door, the studio implemented Battle Eye Anti-Cheat. This is the gold standard of anti-cheats. So, I would suggest switching over to Destiny 2 from this point on. I've already made the move some time ago. And I am loving it. Cheating is going to get a hell of a lot worse in Call of Duty, 
on a level you have never seen before. Why does this guy keep calling me a filthy little rat? It's a f***ing silent shot, Macro. He's saying in a conversation that I'm scared of, like, I can't. You All these hacker owners try to do is discredit streamers as human beings. Yeah, okay, you brain dead. Not culture. Losers that are going out of their way to prey on people's downfall. Automatically, he's lying off rip. He's lying off rip. A bitch. That's the thing that pisses the most me off. Popular one of them all, Call of Shame. Mr. Text to Speech AI himself. There's no horribly sexist, proof. There's homophobic. None. Fucking hate you! There will be a time where I start copyright striking things, but I'll wait until they do it three times. That way I can take their, down their channel in one go. Game would call it. I'm a low IQ bedroom streamer. In stream. UAV online. Tactical nuke ready for launch. Flawless victory.